This time yesterday, we were racing out of the door to enjoy the 70 degree weather. Today, a little bit different. Yeah, I mean, you'll have to have the wipers on at some point this afternoon. Yeah, yeah. I know. <laughs> what was we that? Do, uh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, seriously, am I really going to complain? No. I know. I mean, we're in the 60s, and it, yeah. yeah, and we're going to be good, and we're going to be welcoming the 70s back. So we have a nice little stretch of mild conditions, but we first have to get past, you know, a little blip on radar. So Exact Track 4D shows that we do have some light showers down to our south, steady at times, but still on the lighter end. And so as we uh, look a little closer around town, I want to start first with uh, Living, or I should say Livingston County. So Howell off towards Fowlerville. Uh, this is closer to M59, so just to the northwest of Brighton, where we might have a sprinkle or two coming down. But the bulk of the rain is farther south into portions of Monroe, Lenawee County, and even now starting to trickle a little farther north into Wayne County. So most of this along and south of I-94, that does include Belleville, Romulus, right where 94 meets I-275 and pushing a little farther eastward down towards Carleton. And there might be a little dry slot um, in the far eastern edge of Monroe. You see right here the city of Monroe. Otherwise, Monroe County, Lenawee County just draped with some light showers at the moment. So clouds and radar show that all that moisture is stretching really from about Wichita up towards Canada and we're on the line of that. But I also want to show you all the snow. You heard me right up into the northern part of the plains, northern Rockies, and that's where they are going to hold on to some heavy snowfall rates for a couple days. So winter storm warnings have been issued in that direction. If you are going to be traveling, check your flight. Speaking of traveling, this is a live look at Metro Airport. No rain coming down with this view at the moment, but there could be maybe a little fine mist as far as what radar is concerned. Uh, Metro Airport 63, Ann Arbor, same temperature, Lapeer 67 and 65 in Monroe. You can see that the camera is shaking a little bit, and that's because it is turning breezier out there. Southwesterly winds sustained around 10 miles per hour, but they could gust upward of 20 miles per hour this afternoon. So the mild stretch will continue throughout the rest of the work week, and the rain chances linger off and on all the way through Sunday. Colder temperatures return this weekend, but they turn even colder going into next week. So we're going to feel a huge difference in just a matter of days. Warm, wet and windy for this Wednesday afternoon, though. Off and on rain chances we hold on to throughout the afternoon and evening as we stay in the 60s, only fluctuating by a few degrees. Let's take you through the afternoon here. So it's starting to look like we could have some more moderate showers developing around 4 and sticking around in the evening. Some earlier day to kind of push this out a little earlier, but now it looks like it's going to hang tight for a little while longer. By 6 a.m. tomorrow, a couple spotty showers, but then a lot of that's going to be out of here by sunrise. We'll spend the daylight hours cloudy, then by 9, some more rain could start to push across the area, and that trickles into the early part of Friday, but there'll be scattered showers. Tonight, we're right around that 60 degree mark, 59, and we'll have some of those lingering spotty showers with us, but since we're starting around 60 tomorrow, that gives us a good head start. We'll be at 74 degrees in the afternoon under mostly cloudy skies and maybe even a little breezier than today. As we look at that wind gust forecast, you can see those gusts could possibly peak upward of 25 miles per hour tomorrow afternoon. Good news is outdoor plans Saturday should be dry. Bad news if you have outdoor plans Sunday. Widespread rain starts to roll in early in the morning and stays with us all day long. Little break Monday morning, maybe a stray shower going into Monday afternoon. Tuesday trick or treating looks like it'll be dry, but then right after Halloween, more of a trick than a treat as we'll have some flurries coming in the forecast on Wednesday. Expect some cold trick or treating conditions with temperatures in the upper 30s in the evening. Otherwise, enjoy the 70s the next two days because those temperatures slide going into next week.